Hey, hey, this is Jennifer from Spoonful of Goodness, and I didn't mean for this to become a poop channel, but I guess I got diarrhea, because uh, I got some more poop stories for you. Alright, so the first video aired this uh, weekend, and... Got back to school this week, started the week, getting myself pumped up to learn some students, some science, and all sorts of stories coming out of the woodworks. Teachers, principals, more teachers um, that they had, you know, watched the video and felt inspired to share with me their poop stories. And it was too hysterical to keep it to myself, so I want you to enjoy them as well. The first one comes from a teacher who is a super avid runner, and she meets up with other ladies, and they go running tons and tons of miles. They get in the vehicle and drive to the location where they're going to go run, and the only thing that they talk about is, I pooped, I didn't poop, can we stop at that QT? I need to get some more coffee so I can poop. Um, well, I don't know. I, I feel like I need to, I might need to go some more, so we need to stop. So their whole conversation before they go and run, because that's a, a big deal if you've ever ran long distance, um, and it hits you in the middle of your run, you know, what are you going to do? And so the teacher is telling me this story, and I'm thinking, oh, that's hilarious. And she's like, oh, no, Jennifer, that's, that's not even the start of the story. And I was like, oh, okay, this, this should be really good. So she told me that one of her friends, they went on this long jaw or went on this long run and suddenly it hits her friend, let's call her friend Susie. It hits Susie that she's got to go drop a deuce. And she is in this neighborhood and she knows that, hey, if I can just make it to, let's name this lady Cheryl. Uh, if I can make it to Cheryl's house, Cheryl's house is always open. I can go and drop my load and keep on running. So she finally makes it to Cheryl's house and Cheryl's door isn't open. So she is already like, the turtle is poking. She's got to go. So she goes around to the back and tries to open the door and it's not going to open. And so she gets resourceful. And she lays her eyes on a citronella candle. And she goes and takes a dump in the citronella candle. And she it was one that had a lid on it. She closed it back up, put it in Cheryl's trash, and um, goes and finishes her run. And she makes it back to the vehicle and they're all driving back to where their cars are. And she's like, hey, um, Cheryl, I, I owe you a citronella candle. And Cheryl's like, what? Why, why do you owe me a citronella candle? She said, well, I really had to poop and I went to your house and the door wasn't open. So then I went to the back and the back wasn't open either. So I had to poop in your candle. <laughs> so that when this teacher is telling me this story, there's a couple of thoughts that come to my head. So, um, how did she do it? So I was thinking, what was her technique with the citronella candle? Was she like holding it? Was it right up next to her booty? Was it like on the ground and she's trying to drop it and get it in there? Did she get it on her fingers? Did She didn't go wash her hands, so when she's running, did she wipe the sweat and get poo on her face? That's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so the next story actually comes from my beloved principal. His wife commented on the blog post when I put it onto Facebook saying that, oh, our oldest daughter, who I taught her freshman year, she's now a senior at the school, she um, has a projectile poop story about her oldest daughter. And those two words, projectile and poop, normally aren't found in the sentence together, so it immediately sparked my interest and I had to know. So uh, I have lunch duty this week, yep, duty, which I can never keep myself contained when they say that at teacher meetings when talking about, hey, make sure you're on your duty. I, I have to giggle. Side note. Anyways, we're at lunch duty and my principal 
Uh, walks out there with his lunch, and I'm snacking on my lunch while we're watching other students eat their lunch. And your wife commented on Facebook that your oldest daughter had some interesting uh, motions with her poop, and it was projectile, and I have got to know the story. And so as he's got, you know, chewing through this food that he's eating, he starts telling me this story. So now I've even got more mad props for my principal who doesn't mind talking about poop while he's eating because it doesn't bother me any and obviously it didn't bother him. So anyways, he said that his daughter was a preemie and he wasn't really sure if that played into her um, bowel system, not really doing what it needed to be doing. You know, preemie really factored into her poop moving at a fast rate when they went to change her diaper and pulled back the diaper and she started peeing she also started going to the restroom number two and it wasn't just a slow motion coming out it was uh, hitting the wall she got some wall action it's like Pshaw! and so he said yeah it was hilarious because they it was their first baby they had all of this changing table set up in their room and everything was cute and all dressed up and pink and um, their baby was uh, shooting poo on the walls and so I with a mouthful of food about shot it across the cafeteria it's like oh my word and I can make eye contact with his daughter who's also sitting in the cafeteria and I want so bad to run up to her and be like I know what you did when you were a preemie. You shoot poo on the walls. But I, I kept my composure and acted like the adult that I am sometimes. But he said that, um, I was like, oh, my first question, immediate response to that was like, are you still in that house? Is the poo still on the walls? And he's like, oh, no, we've moved since then. But when they went to move, it took a couple coats of paint to cover up that doo-doo. So that was awesome. That was a good story. All right, my last one is um, a story from my teacher best friend. And if you know me, uh, without naming who she is, you immediately know who that is. Uh, but anyways, she told me a story at the end of the day about her father. Her father, she said, is a man who believes that no one goes and poops. He doesn't want to hear about it. He doesn't want you to say the word fart or poop or taking a dump. Pro he pro probably definitely doesn't want to hear you about taking a dump. And so for this story to come from him made it even sweeter. So she said that um, where the neighborhood that he li lives in, there are lots of people going around and following behind a FedEx truck and stealing boxes off of people's doorsteps uh, when after they make the delivery. And so he had he was going to teach him a lesson. So uh, his other daughter that still lives with him gets lots and lots of packages and he went and got one of her old packages, one of the empty boxes, and went to the neighbor's house next door and started picking up dog poop uh, from next door, which is amazing. And I'm thinking, oh, that's hilarious. But he took it one step further to make it just a little bit juicier. My teacher best friend said that her father told her that he then dropped the kids off at the pool in the box. He, her, she squirted in that box to teach those people a lesson. And he taped it up, put it on to the front porch, and not too long after, that box was stolen. <laughs> can you imagine those guys faces when they went and thought oh oh this is a warm one i wonder what's inside and i hope and let me <laughs> and i hope that those guys untaped that box so anxious about that warm goodness in the inside of that box and stuck their hand inside before the stench hit and their hands match my daughter's hands poop hands <laughs> so 
If you've got a poop story for me, comment in the area. I would love to hear it. And if you go to school with me, and you don't want your stories told on the camera, you might not want to tell me. <laughs> hey, hey, this is Jennifer from Spoonful of Goodness, and I didn't mean for this to become a poop channel, but guess I uh, got some diarrhea because I've got some more poop stories coming for you. Much, I guess I uh, dropped. <laughs> How should I say what he did? What a jack wagon. Three, two, one. That's it. That's all I got. Peace. I'm out of here. We come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Ah, uh -huh. yes, I am home.